So today we're reviewing Pacific Rim Uprising. You made me. So we just got back from Pacific Rim Uprising, and our proof is yep, the tickets right just here. Just saw it basically just, uh, at our the AMC there, theater in a giant big. Uh, Big theater, not 3D, but just like sound and stuff is like enhanced. Yeah, it's like IMAX basically. And this movie's been getting a lot of hate. I think I've seen just about every thumbnail I've seen. Yeah, well, not, not by everyone. On their heads. I mean, Angry Joe. Angry Joe liked it, and yeah. I think we haven't seen uh, John Campion yet, but he might have liked it. Yeah, he's not gonna like it. But basically, I went into this movie with very low expectations because everyone's crapping on it, and I really liked it. I thought mm -hmm. it was a really good movie. The vision, I mean, I'm not going to get... I liked it, and that's my initial thoughts. And I liked it too. I mean, I, I was going in basically expecting something similar to, to the first one, and it definitely delivered in that aspect. It really wasn't that much. I mean, there was a different storyline, but really nothing that crazy different that took it out for me. Basically, this movie is about Jake. Well, it's, it's 10 years after the events of yeah. the first Pacific Rim. Uh, and you see kind of the characters dealing with because there's a lot of flashback. That's just I'm not gonna see, get well, here, You see every character basically addressed except for one that we'll get into later on in the spoiler review. But basically everyone's kind of care. You see where they've I guess came after the first one, where they're at. You see uh, Newton Gottlieb. You're, you're introduced the to new scientists. characters. Yeah, the the characters that come back are Newton Gottlieb. This two scientists. And I think it's important that they started out with the same kind of like storyline, basically recapping the first movie, just because, I mean, obviously yeah. people like us know what happened the first time, but that way, if this is the first time someone saw a Pacific Rim movie, they can see, like, okay, that's what happened in the first one, which yeah. is kind of a good strategy to just kind of, like, recap where they're at. Yeah. Well, I'll really try not to spoil anything. We'll really try our best here, but... So, basically, I think the visual effects were do not get enough credit, because I thought they were, like, perfect. I mean, these things look really real. The Kaijus and Jaegers, and basically... Yeah, that definitely can't be a complaint. Yeah, the visual effects, people are like, it's in daytime, it might be bad. No, it's not. It's, like, it's really good. And so, basically, start out, just to start off with our positives. So, CGI, the fights I thought were really good. The one between the two Jaegers, I thought was... There's two separate kind of fights. I thought that was one of the best. I mean, I agree. The CGI is really good. Uh, I mean... The fight scenes, every fight scene there was was really good. I mean, just from the get-go, it started out from, like, I guess it showed clips in the first movie. Yeah. But then you see the... You, you're basically going to introduce that new character you saw in the trailer. I'm not sure what yeah. her name is. Uh, oh, Mara, maybe? Yeah. But Sounds just you're introduced to her. You're introduced to the John Boy, uh, John Boy character. Yeah, Jake. Uh, Jake. Uh, just the way that they started out and they played it out just made sense to me. But yeah, all the fight scenes were really good. That was the, not one scene. Usually, there's in the, in these CGI movies, there's like one scene that you can be like, okay, well, I, that, I can tell it's CGI. And it really just it seemed completely real. Like, just like the first one, there was no scene in the first one that seemed fake to me. Definitely the just. I mean, I thought the, I thought the relationships were pretty good for most of the characters. I mean, the one, Scott Eastwood and John Boyega, like those two, like you could tell, like they had known each other and they worked well together, even though they got into some arguments. The new character fit in pretty well, I thought, with like the training. Uh, cadets, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I definitely think the thing about fights, like, there's some fights, like, the end of Black Panther, the end fight scene, it just was very underwhelming. It's something like that where it doesn't really seem like the punches are landing and stuff. This, I felt like every punch was landing. Every fight scene was just really good. I really like how the fight scenes were done. I mean, the and fight scenes between, the, like, the one you just talked about with, between the Jaeger and the, and, the, and the Rogue one, just the way that that happened, it, it was just, like, it was just like two people fighting, but it looked that real. It was just like uh, two like giant robots fighting, and I think it was. It started out on like land and like uh, I think Australia, and then the yeah. the fight that you see that you see in the trailers on like the Arctic area, whatever that was pretty. It does go. There. It kind of goes all over the world. Why don't we just get our negatives and try to remember positives? I mean, really, the negatives are kind of just what I said, before, like kind of uh, mentioned before a little bit was the main character in the first Pacific Rim, uh, Raleigh, I think. They're just, he's not addressed at all in this movie, which, I mean, that's not it's, a spoiler, that's not it's a, not, it doesn't, doesn't happen. I mean, yeah, it's something... So don't get your hopes up that you're going to get some kind of, like... Yeah, that can't actual, be... They, they mention his name once, which, oh, maybe yeah. maybe if I see it again, I'll hear if they said what he did. Yeah, that's just, not a spoiler. And next time I'll look at the, at the, they had, like, a graveyard section where you could see the faces of the yeah, people that died in the first one, so maybe he was on there. Uh, yeah, that, I guess, and then some of the... Let me say one more thing. 
And then some of the humor, but I mean, just just like the first one, it's like I kind of expected the humor to be like that, so it wasn't like it was a bad thing for me. I, some of the humor worked, some of it was, I mean, it, maybe some didn't work, but it didn't take me out of the movie where it was like frustrating to me. Yeah, the humor, but, I don't really think it worked, but a lot of humor movies don't work to me. Very few actually makes me laugh. I mean, I just think the humor, people are actually so terrible. It's a joke, and then they move on. They don't. It's not it even close to Transformers bad. It's it's yeah, like it's, it's not, just like it's such small jokes. It's, just, like, it's it's literally like the first one, so it's not like if you like the first one, you're gonna. I think you're gonna like the second one. But. Yeah, like I heard some reviewer saying how the the main character was always like bragging about how good he looks the whole movie. I heard that maybe once, and it was not as bad as he made it sound. Yeah, but a I'm lot of characters. Right there's a lot of movies that have characters that do that. They didn't get or they didn't get hated on like this. Yeah, and I do. So I really like, like Solo. The, you know, I really didn't like the action. But there is, I feel like, uh, some action sequences where it probably gets too close, and the it's not really—I wouldn't really say shaky cam, but I do think it gets a little close. But sometimes when I'm watching a movie for the first time, I go back a second time; it's better than like that. So I mean, maybe, some were close, but I mean, most of the, there was a lot of shots that were that showed everything, yeah. especially that. I mean, like we said before, we talked about tw- like three times now, but that scene where the two Jaegers are fighting is really good, just because it's, it's. I think every shot or most every shot is like pretty far away. All these movies—I don't know how they make the water look so real with being around the things that that's that seemed really good so final thoughts i mean i definitely we both really liked it uh the theater we were at was pretty it wasn't that crowded but it was also because it's at a 12 30 showing on a friday morning which is not going to be and it's not like mm-hmm. we're in like las vegas or some like really populated like orlando or something like that where it might be really crowded i hope and, this movie uh, makes a lot of money but it probably won't i think it'll make just about i think it'll make just around the same as kong i mean kong sure didn't blow it out i guess kong did pretty well but I think Pacific Rim will do pretty good too, but uh, definitely uh, make. I would mean, definitely go see this. But I would recommend. I mean, the character see motivations were really good. I thought. Yeah. I mean, really, people like going in. I thought there was like a bunch of cartoon characters, but I mean, you could really. I mean, I could go basically into each character except maybe. I mean, honestly, every character that I'm thinking about right now had some kind of backstory. So I don't know what people yeah. want. I mean, I don't want these characters except maybe the main character maybe fleshed out more. Yeah, there might be How some more things fleshed out. Do you want these characters? Yeah. I think there were some things that might have been confusing, but should we just go into our scores? Yeah, we should go into our scores. We'll get more in depth in the spoiler. So, I'm definitely going to have to give this for, uh, like, if I'm going to a monster movie, wanting to see monsters fighting, and for this situation, like, robots, I mean, I'd have to give this a solid uh, 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'll probably, I mean, uh, I just think, I I think my, my anticipation for this movie was totally killed by the reviews. So that might be why I like it more. I don't know. I was really excited, and I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to diss or... anyone else, but I mean, I'm not. I, I, that I, or... But I, I it's hard to ignore. But I just yeah, think yeah, that's why I had to watch Kong, or Kong get ripped before I went yeah. to see it. If you're going to this movie, people are like, if you uh, if you want to see giant robots and monsters fight each other, then you probably will like it. Yeah, that's why you go into the movie, and if you go in to see that, you're gonna like it. So I have to give this. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10, just because you'll find out some of my negatives and spoilers about why and negatives it wouldn't are really, be a 10. And negatives but. are just things that they could have had to make it better. So that was our non-spoiler review of Pacific Rim Up- Uprising, and we will see you guys in the spoiler review. Bye, guys. <laughs>